fashion lovers welcome again to another interesting video tutorial in case you're new here my name is gift in today's video i'll be showing us how to draft a basic sleeve and here on the table i have my pattern paper which i've already folded into two now the width of this pattern paper is dependent on your bust measurement so your bust measurement divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches will give you your chest measurement okay so you need that measurement in order to know how wide or um the amount of fabric you'll be putting on fold so that you do not end up wasting your fabric or your pattern paper okay so here on the table i have about 8.5 inches plus extra allowance just for the sake of this tutorial so now these are the basic measurements you'll be needing your sleeve length your elbow length your biceps your elbow circumference your wrist your bust circumference and of course your cap height and you'll also be needing a curve ruler a straight ruler a pencil a marker pen and of course a paper scissors now the marker pen is for tutorial purpose okay so without wasting much of your time let's move straight into today's video first i'm ruling a straight line just like so without any definite measurements actually so that this can serve as our shoulder line or the starting point now from that point i'm going to put down my sleeve length the sleeve length i'm working with is 22 inches so go ahead and put down whatever sleeve length you have for yourself or for your client so i'm just going to rule that or measure that all the way down like so just for me to get a straight line then i'll go ahead and connect those two dots together to have a straight line then i'm going to label that as my wrist line which is the end of the sleeve you know it's a long sleeve the next measurement you want to put down is your cap height now the cap height is important and to get that you're going to be dividing your bust measurement by 12 and then you're going to be adding one inch to whatever it is you've gotten the bust measurement i'm working with is 42 inches divided by 12 i got 3.5 inches and then i added one inch to that and then i got 4.5 inches so i'm just connecting those dots together as usual to form a straight line next i'll go ahead and make those lines bolder just for us to see the markings i have on my pattern paper the next measurement you want to impute is your elbow length whatever elbow length you've gotten for yourself or for your clients please go ahead and mark that down mine is 13 inches and that is what i have here i'm also going to connect that line together and then label that as my elbow line line rather next is you want to impute your chest measurements like i told us before your chest measurement is your bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches now for the sake of beginners or those who do not know what the chest measurement is i have a video on how to draft a basic bodice and i showed us how to do that now your chest measurement is the line between your shoulder tip that is the shoulder slope all the way to where you imputed your bust measurement now that curved line that armhole curve is what we want to get around this area and that is exactly what you'll be using so whatever measurement you have on your basic bodies that is what is going to determine what your chest measurement too is so the chest measurement i have here is 42 divided by 6 plus 1.5 i have 7.5 plus 1 6.5 plus 1 inches i have 8.5 inches rather and that is what i 7 plus 1.5 inches i have 8.5 inches so make sure you have gotten an accurate measurement there and then impute that on that line okay now that you have gotten that of course you want to like i said that is what will determine how wide that part will be now that we have gotten that the next measurement we want to impute is our elbow circumference so on the elbow line divide what you have as your elbow circumference into two and then put down the markings mine is 13 divided by two i have 6.5 the next measurement you want to impute is your wrist circumference mine is nine divided by two i have 4.5 so the next thing you do is to connect those lines together with a straight line like so 
After that, you're going to measure what you have from that point on your chest line all the way to your calf height, okay? Measure what you have from that point by ruling a straight line. So first of all, put down a straight line to connect those two points together like so. After you have gotten that straight line, go in with your measuring tape and then measure what you have from that point to this point just like I'm doing and then divide whatever it is you have there into two. When you've gotten that, put down that mark, okay? Good. So now that you have gotten that point, come down from that point by 0.5 inch. Come down from there by 0.5 inch, okay? good so after you have come down by 0.5 inch go in with your curved ruler or your armhole curve and then connect a very smooth curve all the way from the cap height to that point where you marked as 0.5 inch and then with a very nice transition connect that point to to meet your chest line area okay good so i'm just trying to make sure that i have a very smooth curve around that area please make sure it is not too deep if you have an ammo curve this will really really help so just connect like so so the next thing i'll do is of course to go in with my marker pen just to make those lines bolder for your for us to see okay so connect that with a smooth curve like so like i said before be very careful so that you don't make it too deep so when you're done making that curve, guys, the next thing you want to do is to label, okay? So I'm just going to go in with my marker pen just to label that part as our cap height. This is basically all for this basic sleeve. There's nothing um, really difficult about it, okay? So I'm going to label that as my cap height with an arrow indicating that that is where the cap height is. Why this other line is our chest measurement, okay? Is our chest measurement. I know some of us might be wondering, okay, what is now the essence of the bicep circumference we took? Now, your bicep circumference falls along these area okay this part i'm pointing to that is where your bicep circumference falls in the bicep i'm working with is 15 inches divided by two and that is it over there so now your bicep is always like seven to eight inches of from your cap height or from your shoulder line so for me that is it over there so now when you are done doing this the next thing you want to do is to cut out okay you want to cut out um, that part but before we cut out i'm just going to transfer the 0 0.5 inch we have on that part to the other side of the pattern paper now this is because we need to identify where which part of the armhole will be on the front and which part will be at the back remember they are not the same okay so i'm just going to cut that out now and then show us what to do next about that part okay cut 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 and cut so guys please subscribe to this channel if this video has been helpful to you do not fail to give it a thumbs up to and also share our video so now the next thing i want to show us is that i added about 1.5 into the wrist area and then i'm going to measure the elbow circumference we have there just to show you that it is still very very much accurate okay now for the front part you want to determine which part of the um sleeve armhole you want as your front and which part you want as your back okay so i'm going to be choosing choosing that part as my front and the other side as the back so i'm just going to label that like so can you see now i discovered that that part of the armhole was a bit too deep so i went and redrafted so guys be careful when drafting yours or when making your own curve so that part is going to serve as my back okay so now remember the um chest measurements we took earlier on i'm just extending that line to the other side so that we don't further get confused <laughs> We don't get confused so for beginners this is very important rule out your line so that you do not get confused okay so now remember the 0 0.5 inch mark we had earlier where i told us to transfer yes that part i'm going to um, mark 0 0.5 inch from that part okay so i'm going to be coming down from that part by 0 0.5 inch 
This is because the front armhole actually tapers in than the back armhole. And with the aid of my curved ruler, I'll just make another curve connecting my uh, the tip or the apex to that point and also to the other side of the chest line. Just check how I'm doing it in this video, okay? So I'll go in with my marker pen just to make those lines bolder for us to see. Guys, be careful so that you, go, you don't have a very deep um, curve around there okay so after having that curve we are going to be cutting that part out okay now this is going to help us when we are transferring to fabric as we will easily know which part is the front and which part is the back so i will just cut out that part like so can you see let's cut 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 and cut you do not need that part okay and make a very nice curve and transition around that area it is very very important guys that is basically all for this um basic sleeve there is really no not much paparazzi it is no big deal but you need to have an accurate um measurement an accurate um draft before you can start talking about uh, a perfect sleeve so now go ahead and add your 0 0.5 inch uh, seam allowance on the apex and also one inch on the side or 1.5 if you're making use of lining so guys this brings us to the end of this video if you find this video very helpful guys give it a thumbs up okay like <laughs> share comment and also subscribe to this channel till we meet again i'm gift bye